punch him Draymond right Green. in the rib cage or like you think face? It just escalated. Draymond Green, from what I'm told, Pat, is that Draymond Green will be disciplined by the team. If you want to call it a punch, you want to call it a forceful strike. He got at Jordan I Poole. Right? I know what you guys might be thinking, man. Mike, this news came out last night. Old Mike would have gotten this to us within an hour. Well, forgive me. I was fasting Yom Kippur yesterday and I literally opened my phone for the first time at 8 p.m. Pacific time to this news that absolutely blew my mind. Unfortunately, when you go 24 hours without food or caffeine, you're not necessarily in the greatest state to record videos. To be honest, I'm still feeling the effects a little bit today. But thankfully, since I waited a little extra time to bring you guys this news, we got some additional information about what is actually going on with the Golden State Warriors. So of course, before we get to the content, we are still running NBA 2K23 giveaways. And if you have the game, we're gonna give away VC to any of my Twitter followers and Instagram followers. Now that we get all that out of the way, cue the intro. Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Man, things were looking so good for the Golden State Warriors. I mean, it was truly a remarkable story. After two years in relative obscurity as a result of Klay Thompson's injury and Kevin Durant leaving the franchise, although they pivoted excellently, the Golden State Warriors were able to win a championship last year. They did it in a way that I don't think we've seen ever before in NBA history. The only team that kind of accomplished this feat was the Los Angeles Lakers in the 80s after they were able to draft James Worthy using that rookie as a core piece for their championship core for years to come. They were the only team that were essentially rebuilding while contending at the same time. And even that, I would add an asterisk to it because, well, for the most part, that Laker team was fairly young with Magic Johnson, James Worthy, and then you had an older star like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. In the Golden State Warriors case, they have a team whose championship core stayed intact. You have Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, who returned from an Achilles tear and an ACL tear, and the fact that he was that effective, despite sustaining two of the most devastating injuries any basketball player could sustain, was impressive in itself. And then, of course, you have Draymond Green, which we're gonna get to, but during the time that Klay Thompson sustained a horrific injury and the Golden State Warriors were tanking, they were able to add pieces like Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody, James Wiseman, Jordan Poole. And while most of those players that I stated, mainly Moses Moody and James Wiseman, didn't necessarily contribute to the last championship that the Golden State Warriors won. Jonathan Kaminga definitely showed flashes of his potential, whereas Jordan Poole definitely arrived as one of the core pieces for the Golden State Warriors, at least moving forward. And it's beautiful because you have this situation where they are contending for championships now, but they have players in the future that they could build around. As a matter of fact, things look so great that Jordan Poole said this to Andrew Wiggins after they won a championship together. Hey, you about to get a bag. You about to get a bag. You about to get a bag. We about to get a bag. We about to get a bag. Now, I'm gonna admit, this could be a bit of a reach. It's just an idea that I'm floating to you guys. I'm not saying this is definitely what's happening. Historically, Draymond Green has been a man that's had a lot of pride. I mean, you saw what happened between him and Kevin Durant during the 2019 season. A fight that essentially altered the course of Kevin Durant's career, because I am convinced that he is so butthurt over this fight that he inevitably left the Golden State Warriors and kind of proved Draymond Green right. The Golden State Warriors won without Kevin Durant, but before, and they can still win without Kevin Durant. While Kevin Durant goes to Brooklyn and, well, he hasn't necessarily experienced the type of success he did with the Golden State Warriors. And it seems like Draymond Green once again got into another fight with one of his teammates. Now, I wanted to preface this by saying, this is normal, man. I mean, people get into fights in the middle of practice all the time. I mean, I guess I'm a little desensitized to this because I cover the NFL on my microphone channel. I just see this happening all the time. 
Whenever you're exercising, your testosterone might be running a little rampant. You might be getting a little bit more energetic and yelling at each other. It's bound to happen. But it seems like Draymond Green went a little bit too far in this instance. So the report of this comes from none other than Shams Charania, who originally said that there was a physical altercation at the Golden State Warriors practice today that has the team considering disciplinary action toward Draymond Green. You know, this is kind of unfortunate because I had a video plan just analyzing the Golden State Warriors preseason so far because their youth has been looking fairly solid in the preseason so far. I mean, James Wiseman has been looking like a number two overall pick in the preseason. And although I understand it's the preseason, it was a video that I actually was really excited to make for you guys because I thought the Golden State Warriors were trending upward. Obviously, this is a little blip on the side. So let me tell you guys what is actually going on. So the original report from Shams is there was a physical altercation at the Warriors practice Wednesday morning as the team seriously considering disciplinary action towards Draymond Green, sources with knowledge of the incident told The Athletic. And this sounds so similar, and I'm going to tell you how the difference between this situation and the Kevin Durant situation, because Draymond Green is acting completely differently than he did during the Kevin Durant incident a few years ago. When a heated interaction with guard Jordan Poole escalated, Draymond Green forcefully struck Poole and needed to be separated swiftly, sources said. Green and Poole came chest to chest, with both players pushing and shoving each other prior to Green's escalation of the physical altercation. It looks like both of them were getting involved here and it resulted in the Warriors stopping practice and tried to settle nerves in the team's locker room area, but it appears that internal discipline is imminent. The article closes by saying, Poole and Green are known to regularly get into verbal arguments, but the team's management and leadership believe a line was crossed. This sounds very typical of Draymond Green. I'm not even going to lie to you. The difference here is how Draymond Green actually reacted because if you're remember when he got into this argument with Kevin Durant a few years ago, he did not want to apologize. In this case, Draymond Green was immediately apologetic. According to Chris B. Haynes, Draymond was apologetic in the aftermath of the altercation with Jordan Poole, but there was a buildup stemming from teammates noticing a change in Poole's behavior during camp with a guard on the verge of securing a lucrative extension. League sources tell Yahoo Sports. So again, going back to that video of Jordan Poole going to Andrew Wiggins and saying, saying, hey, we're champions and you're about to get a bag, we're about to get a bag. One has to recall the fact that the Golden State Warriors have some very important decisions coming up. I mean, Andrew Wiggins becomes a free agent following this season. Jordan Poole is in line for a contract extension and is about to hit restricted free agency. But on top of that, you have Draymond Green's contract expiring during the 2024 season. And the same could be said about Klay Thompson. Now, again, I'm going to admit this part, I believe is just a little bit of a reach. It's is something I'm floating out there because this is the main thing that I think could potentially cause conflict within the Golden State Warriors. Imagine if Jordan Poole is showing up to practice acting like a hotshot because he's about to get his first big contract of his entire career and you're Draymond Green and Klay Thompson who are about to potentially take a pay cut in order for Jordan Poole to do so. Remember, Draymond Green said a while ago that he is not going to take a pay cut or give the Golden State Warriors a hometown discount count, which is pretty interesting considering the fact that Draymond Green is clearly, and I'm not saying he's a bad basketball player, but at least offensively, his production has taken a dramatic hit and he is not nearly the player he used to be offensively. Now, defensively is a different story. Defensively, Draymond Green is one of the best defensive players in the entire NBA. I mean, last year in of itself, he had a 4.6 defensive box plus minus. He has a 1.8 value over replacement player. So I know, although Though you're looking at his points per game averages where he's averaging seven and a half points per game and his three point percentage is still 30 percent that is not why the golden state warriors signed draymond green to begin with draymond also understands his value but remember one month ago this man said that he is refusing to take a pay cut to help the golden state warriors to continue to succeed and this is because the warrior stars don't exactly have a cuddly relationship with joe lakeup as evidenced by Clay thanking Bob Myers when he talks about the team investing in him, but it's not lost on Clay that the Dubs gave him a max contract without thinking twice, knowing he wouldn't play the first year. It's not lost on him that three years into that five-year deal, he's collected about $2 million for every game he's played. He's not going to take a pay cut 
to fatten Lacob's pockets, but he's definitely going to enter free agency feeling like the Warriors have taken care of him, so I'm not sure we can say the same thing about Draymond Green. Bear in mind, this is from July. According to Anthony Slater via Legion Hoops, Draymond Green wants and believes he deserves a four-year max contract extension from the Golden State Warriors. So it's a theory. I'm not saying it's guaranteed this is what's going down, but if you have Jordan Poole who's about to get a contract extension from the Golden State Warriors, and then you have Draymond Green who believes he deserves a four-year max contract extension from the Golden State Warriors, there might be a chance that this is what they are arguing about. There might be a little bit, I'm not saying a lot, but a little bit of resentment between the two individuals as a result of this. Now, again, it's a theory. I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but historically, at least what I've heard from NBA locker rooms, the amount that you get paid is a huge point of pride between basketball players. It's the reason why LeBron James always signs for the absolute maximum amount of money that he could sign for, despite him already being a billionaire. Same thing could be said about Kevin Durant. I mean, if you truly wanted to allow your team some wiggle room in order to sign marquee free agents, wouldn't you look at the amount of capital that you have already amassed and said, hey, I'm already worth a billion dollars. What's an additional 40 million going to do at that case? It's a huge point of pride. It's essentially saying that, hey, I am the top dog on this team. I am one of the most important players on this team and I'm getting paid as such because that's the value that I bring to the team. So at the end of the day, how is this going to pan out? I don't know. We're going to have to see how the Warriors decide to handle these contracts that are about to expire. I mean, they have to choose between Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, Jordan Poole, and of course, Andrew. Drew Wiggins. And what I think is going to potentially happen to Jordan Poole if he doesn't get a max contract extension from the Warriors is essentially what happened to DeAndre Ayton. DeAndre Ayton throughout all of last year was trade bait for the Phoenix Suns. And he was until the Indiana Pacers offered him a max contract offer in restricted free agency. At that point, the Phoenix Suns had no choice but to match that max contract offer. So we're going to keep an eye on this entire situation. It's definitely a little messy, but if the Golden State Warriors manage the situation properly, you're talking about a team that could contend for championships for the next three years at the very minimum. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this, man. Whose side are you on? Do you think I was correct in assessing that this is about contracts or maybe it's something else? Apart from that, I'm your boy Mike and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.